he body blocked Soneko unwillingly. Like, did he run? Was able to add enough pressure to the tier one tower and top lane. Complexity rotated two here, rotated two here, is up to try and cut him off for the rotation. But did he run? Quick TP to the tier one tower. Joins up with the rest of his team, starts beating into that tier one. And where are you going to come in? Limp at least has a small surprise sitting inside of him. That's going to be the live stealer. They look over to Diddy with the blink avalanche toss. It goes on to Asa. He'll get his stunned off. Soneko couldn't keep him alive long enough. And now with Icarus dive into the Nova, you burn the Aegis Immortal over on the slot of it. It's complexity of enough to keep fighting with a toss up Zephyr. It only really hits the creep wave of the Necro Box, who keep the chase going. But as General up near the ancient area, being battling up against three, there's no one to really help out here. The T1 tower is still taken. And they go. That's going to be Diddy Ra. Goodbye, Z Freak. <laughs> Can Diddy Ra actually chase him down the hallway? Z Freak makes a break for the trees. Diddy Ra. Okay, he's going to get the crush. The sun rays coming in as well, so Z Freak did his job. Yeah, he, he knows it. He's like, my life for the tier two. He actually managed to pick up his blink dagger just before he died, too, so there was no money lost for a crystal maiden. Yeah, it's actually she still has good. she still has more net worth than the VS, but Hanskin gonna lose out a little bit here with a timber chain born. The list just gets disintegrated. Lives BKB will protect him for now, but Arstyle's still here. Remember they can swap him back if they want it, which is exactly what they do. Now looking over to Lim, Arstyle, where's that stun? Chenzi raged up. He's got no real targets to go for, so he just throws it at Swindles when the jump comes in. General's right there. Again with the timber chain born. Swindles and Chessie being controlled up. Did he run? Looking for any kind of bash, amplification, they need more damage to come. They've already taken three heroes. Swindles, they're splitting up their targets. Now Na'Vi, D.R.S. can going to be moved over. The Blink's available, but there's no mana for a crush. So he just amplifies, Blink's forward, and allows Tendi to do the work underneath the Tier 3 tower. Complexity lose four. You need the full Blink surprise initiation. Yeah. I think Paul like just kind of tired of this right now. Na'Vi's ready to fight. Complexity, Swindles is on the front line. Arsla, she swaps Chessie in. Underneath the Tier 1 tower, the Ravager blowout hitting heavily on the fall. With the Lich Hobbs here as well. And all over past the BS and let it go. Zephyr all over Navi. The crush will be there. Dira will finally take care of it. But Dendi still alive and kicking with that shock drum. It's making oh, a nice force. Force. Taking it away. The pit to turn. Did you run? The crush is available. He needs to get it down. He can't he stay alive. Unbelievable. But so now he actually has to retreat back to the tier 2 tower. The shock drum will fly with him. So Snake will break off. And now Diddy Ra is going to enter into the pit. They can't do it though. Complexity, you're right there. It's like they're trying to bait complexity over, and with a double shock room, Swindles loses. He loses almost half of his life just from the double shock room from Dendi. One of the radiant things to do when you're contesting Groshan Pit is oftentimes to push mid in, and and that's the that's the opposite of what Dire Side do when they push out top. You as the radiant side try and push mid in, and you cut oh, the enemy team off from their base. Thank Thank you. Back. Down for a minute, but he does have buyback available. The TP's are coming in from Na'Vi. They need to defend their base with an Aghanim Scepter on limb. It won't take long for Complexity to rip through this tier three tower, but where's your initiation? General jumping forward. He's got raw, but they want to go on limb. The BKB triggers, however, do you run? Goes for the crush, he gets the fast to it. The Ravage will pop off, but when the shark drops down, then he's done enough damage. Zebra's gonna let that ultimate go, but did you run? The physical damage is too much. They'll Icarus die forward, fighting Hansken over in the tree line. Again, this damage is just so brutal. The into the Dark Troll Summoner. That won't live for long, but Chessie tries to trap up Diddy Ra. The oh, bash no, is the there. Bash. He can't actually TP himself out. It was the only thing that would have stopped him. And it's a team wide in favor of Na'Vi. A triple kill for Dendi. Na'Vi knew when they were coming in because they had three wards set up. You have to know that Dyer is going to do that. If you allow any of the Dire wards to stay up at all, it just becomes so hard for you to fight around that area. Hostile, oh, there's just Swap. He goes on Limp, but Limp very quick over on the Blink. Able to get himself back inside. The walls, the radiant base. Windows jumps out, gets the ravage on General and Arsal. Arsal dropping down low. Did you arrive? We get the stuns, keeping Chessy away, but not for long. He's out of bring down the capital of Na'Vi. And now it's Windows, still low. The sun rays kicking out after the Naker already stuns up with a supernova. But Danny comes back into the fight, gets himself a double kill. Limp fighting strong, but you've got Aegis Immortal plus cheese. Aegis gonna burn. She's still available for Danny, but he keeps being stunned up. He may not get it off, but he gets it off. Then with the shock grips, the double on Limp with the crush of Mini Ra. And a triple kill for Danny. Chessy gonna try and man fight through all of this. Danny Ra's ready to go again. Three seconds till Blink Deck is back off cooldown. The double shock comes forward, but they buy back on the tiny Chessy. So no! Kill for him. He's staring down Z Freak. The Shark Room, the second one's able to reach. The first one, however, does not, so there's not enough damage to kill off that Crystal Maiden. The last Aegis was. They may have had an opening. DRR's moving down. Swindles, four staff in one second. Amplifications up. Swindles turns, gets hit. In fact, now in a world of hurt. He lets the Ravage go, but he's already dropping down low. Hostile, 
The Nova is here as well. The Swindle's caught the wrong side of the tracks. They're going to toss D-Rod back over just to help them kill off Swindles. Bye-bye, Swindles. Extra bash. So it's a one-for-one -one trade off, but you blew your Ravage. Navi just expertly suffocated Complexity into a fight like that. It was just inevitable that Complexity were going to get into a situation where they have a bad fight, where they lose their Ravage and they lose their but, hey, defense of the high ground. They've got the biggest ultimate of all, man. Z Freak has now got more net worth than Swindle Melons. And he's going to be hanging him center on the Crystal Maiden. BKB Ag CM, as long as she doesn't get bashed, she can. I didn't do a lot of damage. Or roar. See, this is the true or three roar. position of complexity. All right, here we go. Now they jump in. The go jump, can brother. they do it? There goes the ultimate. And Dendi, well, he's going to get roared up. Back to get He's got Timber Chain himself out. Chessie is locked in with Diddy Ra. Limp looking to do the damage, but Diddy Ra can finally open up. Toss out and out of side of the base. So it still only swindles the step, but then he's entering in. Chessie has to armor toggle. Dendi in a little bit too deep now. Can't find him. Perfect, perfect chain down. But I'll start dropping in the swap, the real carry. Z Freak right underneath Navi. He'll get Timber chained to death. And they just beat through the base. Aganim Scepter dropped here. Yeah, yeah, where the hell is that? What is he talking about? Either way, it's gonna be in they go. Sheba's got up, try and stop this chase down. The crush will be there on Limp. The force up buying him some space as Diddy Ra also getting stunned up, but it's not enough. That's 100 seconds without your tiny. And Navi's going for the GG push. The tier four towers are the ones that are exposed. Or do they actually finish it up properly? They're gonna go in for Megas and wait for Complexity to come out and try and fight the Dark Chakra spawn. Chessy battling against Diddy Ra, but the Nova is down. Swindles can't take care of that one. General still trying to body block and keep them in range of the supernova. It's not going to happen. The swamp's there. Arstar sacrificing himself to make it work. With the Sunray, Swindles is burning at the moment. It's a Tide Hunter. It's a fish out of water. There is no We're escape. Just inside the we the ghost hunter. Maybe now. Oh, the go. gets a bite. No, he cannot. Douse that Firebird. He's going to go down. Navi's still trying to finish up the racks. The buyback is from Swindles. They are fighting until the last man. They want to make sure that Navi know they're not going to get this game one of this best of three easy. General's now here with an Aghanim Scepter. Look We're ready to go for the raw. The implications on Chessie and Denny. He's already back to full life. There's the raw on Chessie. The double shark drums. The Lynch holding going to bounce around Chessie. He's going to toggle. Going to leech the life. Did you run? Still trying to man fight this. He gets a ton on Chessie, but is it going to be enough? No, it's not. Do you run? actually going to go down. Now, General, isolated by Z Freak. They're going to lose the Beast Master as well. Not me. They got four heroes on the sideline. Very much. They still have the buyback available on a lot of their heroes. Navi's coming to the pit, but they're way too late. Roshan already belongs to Complexity. They got Cheese on the ground. They give it to Swindles. He drops his TP scroll as they find an opening as Chessie moving forward. And Denny just trying to chain himself away. The swap. Wow, that pulls Chessie in deep. The rage going to wear off. They're moving over. Where's that roar from General? There it is with the Necrobox. Chessie won't have a lot of man to work with. In fact, no life. 88 seconds on the sideline by McMarvel Hanskin, locked down by that Nova. And in fact, Snake will come back to finish the job. He actually oh, he okay. him down. He bought it and killed him instantly. Style points here and Swindles. Oh, he's in trouble too. It looks like complexly. They're losing everything. They're trying to buy it back. The money won't buy you love right now. Now we take game number one of this best of three series and complexity. They're the easier part. Navi had to fight hard this morning, and now they're having to fight deep into the night. Stack and then uh, farm with Sandstorm. And he's gonna apparently have the backup of Z Freak. Elder Titan, very common, is gonna be adding uh, uh, aggro. Z Freak with how yeah. being applied? Z Freak's actually in trouble right now. Commits the very fire, but there's enough damage from Navi. General. And that ultimately leads to him dying to the Dazzle last hit. General's making a break for the trees. They're gonna oh, give it Chrono and boy. actually catches Limp in the middle of it. The fire is right. How is Sneaku here again? He's going up after Hanskin and the Beastmaster fights oh, the him. kill. I don't think they Dyer's necessarily have kept Dendi completely fallen. down. It's supposed gonna break. Radiant the Obsies is Dendi. He wants to stack Chessie. Uh, He'll commit the Chrono Sphere. TP supports. They're not tower. coming in. Zee Freak gonna go for the follow up stop. Oh, hey, actually, oh, that was way too close. <laughs> so you commit Sonic Wave to stop this. No, no past stars rotating over. Dyer's They've already started the Shadow Wave on the heroes, so the armor is not that great at the moment. And the stomp again from Z-Freak, trying to create a space, but hello to Nako! Look at it coming from the side! You got the Timber Chain forward from Swindles, but Swindles puts him down in the middle of the epicenter, and Chessie's there as well to Nako, hiding in the sandstorm, Swindles chains away, but Alistar's all over it! The Nova is gonna crack out from Hanskin, but really ineffective up against the rest of Na'Vi. Who are just happy to keep battling. They're gonna find Hanskin on the hillside. And King of the Hill belongs to Snako. And what a wonderful spot to Sandstorm up. Okay. Yeah, maybe. I think after that first Sonic Wave. 
ever since then, things have just been kind of going downhill. Because that should have been a kill for them. That would have been the levels that Z-Freak needed. It's like he's still jumped himself. Curtis V going to go. Arstar's the primary target. But they may not kill him in time. The bar strike cancels off Hanskin. Arstar's going to solve Grave. And Hanskin's already down. Z-Freak gets to stop off. But the damage is still falling in with the boss. They find the kill. d Run going one on two a little bit further off. But they turn around. They find Swindles in the tree line. It's 14-4 at the moment. Complexity. They're being torn to shreds. They're being ravaged without even a tight hunter on the field. All right, PyCat's a genius. 25 minutes, he was right. <laughs> no, <laughs> they're they're down. need to wait for the Tinker. I believe, guys. They're coming in again. TP forward, Z freaks the man there. Spirit looking for the stomp timing again as General waits around a little bit close. The stomp's gonna oh, connect. Snake and General, the Sonic oh, Wave's no. gonna connect. General can't walk away. Snaker blinks himself forward. And with a virus strike, Snaker's gonna try and TP out. Oh, he oh, actually oh. escapes. That should not be happening at the moment. And Arstar playing Ringer Ringer Rosie. He can't get the Shallow Grave off in time. It was to be the play to go into the oh, TP. Jesse. Yeah. And Chessie, so Fire low, spirits. Then he is. Fire spirits. No, no. Okay. 9 HP, he'll survive, Curdy. Even like just go fail of Discord and amplify everything? Yes. Yeah. That ale is exactly the build. That's yeah, you don't even have like any other magic damage, oh, but he's an behind. by himself. Chessy goes to the chrono, he catches that Arsenal as well as so you're up, and there's just no damage on Chessy. You'll have the committal out, but then the shallow grave, Arsenal buys more time. d runs gonna turn the light conform, and they're in through the rear. The fight is gonna be split up. Swindles might be able to find himself one kill. The Norman gets taken care of by Navi and Swindles. Chains away. General is low, but they're finding the bunch of the machine to Chessy. He's we got the back. The they finally get it. No, no. they don't. Snake into the tree line, he'll survive! No! Oh, no! There he is! He got him, he got him, he got him! Got him. Complexity have won the battle. They may not have won the war, <laughs> got... but they've won the battle. Dude, they that's a moral Snake victory as far as I'm concerned. Her timing is a little bit behind, but just everybody from Navi so far. Like a Necro 3 Vlad's on. All right, it finds the TP's coming in, the rolls over on Chetsy. Nice they want to take the chrono out, then he's in there. Is the damage going to be enough? The chrono sphere, it nice. catches General. Connect for General! It takes rips for Chessy to kill him, even with the Echo Saber up his sleeve. The Nova will pop up now from Hanskin. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Senenko! All over him! Goodbye, Lin! The double rockets from Dendi! Z-Free! You can split everything you want, but he does it defensively. Denny's right behind him. He's actually diving all over the team for towers. Yo, boys, not your home! They're looking for more. I still love how Swindles believes he has enough confidence to be here. Oh, <laughs> Right now, Snaker oh. has taken up baking. That's the icing on the cake against Timbersaw. And they run in. They're going to go for the tier 3 tower as well. 22 minutes. Pie can't be genius. He was not far off. <laughs> they just keep going for more. And complexity. Like, you can't stop this. You blink up. They release by general. They get the all good over on the beast. Yeah, but but can't kill him him They've got their back. Denny saw to be initiated along with the roar and hunk. And the damage isn't there. The easy split is coming. With the shallow grave. Make sure Denny stays alive. You on the Phoenix, but really, what's he going to achieve? Chessy actually has to hide up on the hillside, but Seneco is there to join him as king of the hill. Complexity back to base and basically back to, well, oblivion. There is no way they can win this. Navi, a fountain diving, a Nova. What's going on? You're bound to survive. 